Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome on English News on the week. I'm Ninda Maisara. And I'm Amradi Mudar. Now we have some information about West Sulawesi. And there are some information about the development of our region and also mm-hmm. some interesting information. And they will be delivered by our friends Ivy and, and Silva. And Amradi, now you look so fresh. Are you doing some exercise? Uh, yes, I do some sports. Some sports? Yes. What kind of sports? I always play football and mm-hmm. volleyball every day. Every day. Yes. But um, where do you usually play football, Amriyadi? In the stadium or? Uh, yes, I always uh, play mm-hmm. football in the stadium, uh, the West Sulawesi Stadium. Okay, and we have the first information. It is about the West Sulawesi Stadium and IB. Now we are going to your first information. Thank you, Ninda. And we go to the first news. State Attorney of Mamuju, Sulawesi, confiscate cash 523 million rupiah stored in a bank in Mamuju. Fun is suspected cases of corruption development sports stadium of Sulawesi involving some provincial official of West Sulawesi. State Attorney of Mamuju wa Sulawesi confiscate cash 523 million rupees stored in a bank in Mamuju. Phony suspected cases of corruption related to the development sports stadium of West Sulawesi involving some provincial officials of West Sulawesi. Mamuju State Attorney unclaimed confiscate found account in a bank 523 million rupees. Fun is a highly suspected cases of corruption related to the development sports stadium of West Sulawesi in Simboro sub regency Mamuju. Foreclosure led directly by head of Mamuju State Attorney Andy Murji Mahfoud with some attorney investigators. Although their efforts of bank security cleared to hinder the foreclosure. But after having explanation of officer, Security Bank finally allowed investigators to confiscate the phone as evidence. Investigators of Mamuju State Attorney Salahuddin Said by the Mamuju State Attorney search results to 523 million rupees phones suspected related to the development projects of the sports stadium of West Sulawesi Province. That still on account of Sports Stadium Development Committee. The committee has been dissolved and the phone is still owned by the committee's account as an unclaimed phone. So the attorney did confiscate this phone as an evidence in the case of alleged corruption. In this case, three defendants who has to stand trial at the corruption court Mamuju are BM, the Secretary of Sports Stadium Development Committee Solbar, RC, works as Director of PT Gunanusantara as contractor, and also MP, Director of Sefe Mutiara Sita as Consultant Planner. There was our first information from IB and Ninda. Mm-hmm. Do you still remember one of the Indonesian proverb? Indonesian proverb? Yes. Which one I'm ready? It is berakit rakit ke hulu, berenang renang kemudian. Of course. But why you ask me about the proverb? Because our next information is mm-hmm. about a racket or a simple rap. Simple rap. Yes. Yeah. The people in Bulubungu village mm-hmm. must pass the Bengawulu River by using a racket or simple, simple rap. rap. Mm-hmm. And our friend Silva will have the information about that. And Silva, please have a look for your information. Thank you, Amriadi. Because there is no bridge to cross the Bengalu River in Bulubungu Village, North Mamuju, West Sulawesi Province, the local people have to cross the river by using simple boat and raft. The people in five places in Bulubungu Village, North Mamuju, deliver their loads to other places every day just really on the simple raft because there is no bridge to pass the river in the village. So the students also really on the simple raft to get their school which is located outside their village. 
On the rain season, the river flows getting heavy, so it is very risky for their safety. When the Tavari team was there in the river, an accident that occurred barely casualties. A simple raft that transporting people loads and a motorcycle wasn't able to fight the swift stream of the river, then flipped the raft over. Fortunately, the passenger in the raft still can save themselves, even though their goods and motorcycles sweep away by the river flow. Villagers who are staying around the river complained that until now there is no effort of the government to build the bridge in this village. People said a bridge has ever been built before, but only during the last six months. Expected soon the local government builds bridge in this area as the bridge were already very urgent and also can minimize the accidents and victims due to flow rushing river. I'm ready. It is very important for the government to build the bridge in um, Bulubungu village to um, to help the people to through the Bengal River. Yes, of course. Yeah. I remember when I was in mm -hmm. junior high school and senior high school, I went to school by bicycle or sometimes my, my father mm -hmm. took me by motorcycle. Motorcycle. Yeah. yeah, but unfortunately, I'm ready. In one village in North Mamuju, the student there must struggle and risk their life to go to school by um, uh, through the bridge which is nearly broken off. Oh my god, that's mm -hmm. very dangerous. Very dangerous. Yeah. And now I'm, we are going to IB because IB have the information for us. IB? And thank you Nida Masara. We go to the second news. Well, 10 of students in Kalola village, sub-district Bambalamo to North Mamuju, Sulawesi, must risk the drive to go to school through suspension bridge nearly broken off. Tens of students in Kalola village, sub-district Bambalamotu, North Mambujuwa, Sulawesi, must risk their life to go to school through the suspension bridge nearly broken off. Case the dreams as high as the sky is not depends on situation, time and places. Any stakes was held back after to reach their dreams. The reason for some students in Kalola village, Bambalamotu, North Mambujuwa, Sulawesi, should pursue the wire of broken bridge. They are hanging, risk their life in the danger. They pass the bridge one by one for their dreams in the future. They have to feel the pain to show that they do have big hope. The bridge is actually ever been repaired by the local government. But at least three months, many of the steel wire and the bridge board has broken. One of elementary school student, Rahmat said, there is no other way except to pass the bridge. The people on the village do hope that the government can solve this problem to repair the bridge, to help children, students, and also the people there back to their daily activity. Education is one of the priority in development of our region. And as we know, education can increase the identity of our nation. Yeah. But not only that, we also talk about the cultural heritage. And in West Sulawesi, one of the cultural heritage is Mandarin's woven silk. And our friend Silva has the information about the Mandarin's woven silk. Please, Silva, for your information. Thank you, Amriadi. The existence of Mandar woven silk fabric is the evidence of Mandar cultural preservation. The Mandar silk fabric is the form of pride identity of Manda society in West Sulawesi province. Mandar woven fabrics or commonly called Lipasabe is an inherited from Mandar ancestors West Sulawesi. The decrease in inherited from generation to generation. The motif of woven silk fabric that calls Surai Mandar have a deep philosophy meanings of Mandarese living. The square motif formed by vertical and horizontal line has a deep meaning as a philosophy of Mandar society. 
The vertical lines signify a strong relationship between leaders and the society in, in the system of government, and the horizontal lines meaning fully of togetherness among the leaders and also between the people. Sure Mandar has two types, the traditional form and the flower motif. The traditional has a special characteristic formed by a square motif with the basic color. The modern motif is development of traditional motif, additional motif and bright colors in the basic of fabric, so it is look more interesting. The making of mandar woven silk fabrics still in the traditional way which is preserve the legacy of mandar ancestors, such as the whole traditional weaving tools made of wood components, well treated by manual and still maintained. Entire process of manufacture treated by the woman because in Mandar community believed that Mandarese woman wasn't complete if they cannot be able to weave Mandar silk, and Sure Mandar expected to be exist all the time. Thank you, Silva, and that was our last information in English news in a week today. I'm Amriyadi Muhdal. And I'm Ninda Maisara. We're reporting directly from the Mali Hotel and Convention. And we don't forget to say Happy Chinese New Year. Gong Silva Chai. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And we're back to the studio. studio.